we rehearse, I have an announcement to make. Our boy Grizz is getting married on May 22nd. Gee, it's another wedding. Life is like TV. Testing tells us that people like weddings, births, and episodes where a character dies. Dumb. My heart! So I thought Grizz might want to take this time to announce who's going to be his best man. Um, I haven't decided yet. Um, I haven't decided yet. You sound like my mother talking to the Planned Parenthood lady. <laughs> so much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is the Mr. Media Interview. You know, MrMedia.com, MRMedia.com. Brought to you today on the iPhone, Android, Palm, and BlackBerry by the Stitcher app for mobile devices. Mr. Media is also sponsored by ThePartyAuthority.us. Planning a wedding, mitzvah, a corporate event? For any and all occasions, call the Party Authority nationwide at 1-800-DIAL-DJs. That's 1-800-342-5357, where one call does it all. So where was I before the commercial? Oh, yeah. Mr. Media is recorded live from the new New Media Capital of the World and hometown of Lie to Me star Monica Raymond, St. Petersburg, Florida. Oh, yeah. Hey, now. So there may be at least three weddings figured into, figuring into tonight's season finale of 30 Rock on NBC, which of course airs at 9.30. Tracy and Dotcom are arguing over which one of them will be best man for Grizz. Bride-to-be Suri wants Liz Lemon to wear a yellow bridesmaid's dress for her wedding, a Vietnamese size 2. <laughs> and with Liz having proposed instant marriage to Wesley, even she may be going off the market, except that Matt Damon is guest starring in tonight's episode. Will he save her? <laughs> Come on, probably not, right? So it's a big night for the show's supporting cast, and for no, no one more so than Grizz, about whom we've made two shocking discoveries. One, the actor who plays half of Tracy's entourage undergoes dialysis three times a week for kidney failure. Now, that's true. And his character and Tina Fey's have a secret sexual past. Listen to this. Yeah, Vietnamese size too. Beth, I hope it wasn't awkward for you when Tracy brought up my wedding. Why would it be awkward? Because of our sexual past. Mm. Leave it open. I'd feel safer. How can I help you, Grizz? Well, Tracy keeps pushing. To be your best man, yeah. I noticed that. But I want to pick .com. And, and you're afraid that Tracy will freak out. So you want me to help you convince him to step aside. You know my every thought, Beth. We really were the same in Diana, this place. Chris Chapman, welcome to Mr. Media. What's going on, Mr. Media? How you doing? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm good. I can't explain. Yeah, pretty, seems like it, it's a pretty big, pretty good day to be you. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a really exciting day. I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting to see what happens after after it airs. <laughs> I, 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 I would think so. Um, so I, I've got so many questions, and I don't really know where to start. But well, I, let's, I guess let's, I'm, let's start it. Let's, let's, let's start right. wherever you want to start. Let's do it. All right. How about your character's secret past with Liz Lemon? When did you find out, and what can you tell us about it? Well, well, you know, a lot of people don't know that, but you know, Liz Lemon, that's that's my boo. You know, and 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 you know, I've been I've been uh, secretly liking Liz since we kissed on the couch at a uh, at a. Uh, Kenneth's house when we got drunk. So ever since then, you know, we we've been going back and forth a little bit, but you know, she hasn't given me the intention that I was looking for. Could we see a great twist tonight and uh you wind, you wind up with Liz at episode's end? <laughs> well, that that would be that wouldn't be half bad if if that happened. <laughs> Could definitely pump up your role for the next season, huh? Oh, yes, yeah, definitely will be. <laughs> Uh, that will be fun to explore going forward. I'm sure there will continue to be references to that. Um, so in tonight's episode, which uh, you are featured in, uh, will Grizzon.com have a uh, confrontation over uh, your, your characters intended? 
Well, you, you you have to wait and see, man. And you know, I can't, I can't, uh, you know. I gotta ask that. you though. <laughs> yeah, you gotta ask, but you know, I have to. Uh, you have to wait and see. You know, that, that's why you have to tune in tonight and watch the season finale. True. True. Too. Well, uh, let me let me change gears slightly. When I when I read about your um, uh, kidney failure and how you once worried about being written out of the show, I thought tonight's storyline and the you know the, your visibility um, must mean that much more to you. Yeah, I mean, you know, to to, to have a platform that that I have right now and and to bring awareness to a situation that not too many people know about, you know. It's definitely a situation that you know I have to make it my business to to do so because you know but before I, before I came out it, it wasn't it wasn't so easy for me to come out you know because even though I'm on TV and people are in my lives you know if I come out and I and I give and I spread this information you know people will really 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 be in my home but I I said to myself that I really really need to to spread this word because. 26 million people have the have this chronic kidney disease and they don't even know it, and they're walking around with these symptoms, and they might contribute the symptoms to something else. So it's, it's my business to reach the people that I can reach on my platform to make sure that to let them know if if they do have history of high blood pressure in their family, if they do have history of diabetes in their family, that they're at risk, and they need to go get themselves checked out. How, how long have you been dealing with the dialysis? I've been uh, this October. I'll be on dialysis two years. Wow, I, it's one of those things where I think a lot of people hear about it and they just think, I don't know. Somehow that's one of the scariest things to have to go on. Is it? Is it? Is it as uh, frightening as it as it seems from the outside? It's it's, it's definitely a, a flight, frightening thing, and you know, it's, it's, it's a life changing thing. You know, because when you when you when they first tell you. You know, you might have to be on dialysis. It's not that you don't take it serious, but it didn't actually happen yet, so you don't really know what, what's going to happen. But when you're, when they come to you and they tell you that <clears throat> that they have to put a catheter in your chest, you know, you you really, really, really start thinking and looking at life totally different. And 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 you know, sitting there, like the, to give you a little story, like the very first day. That I was put on dialysis. It was it was a really really freaky day because they hook you to this machine and you know the catheter is in your in your chest and it's it's directly to your heart. And mm-hmm. they hooked they took they hooked the tubes up to you and actually feeling your blood coming out of your body is just the the I couldn't I can't really even explain it and because the wires that are taking the blood out of your body is laying on your arm because depending on which side the machine is on the the wires are lay across your chest, all across your arm. So just laying there, feeling your blood being pulled out of your body is is really, really a, a scary experience. The, the first time you go through it. Has it gotten any easier with time? I mean, I can't I can't sit here and tell you that every day is easy, but then I can't sit here and tell you that every day is hard. You know, every day mm. is, is is a challenge because of. You know, you just don't know what what, what your day is going to bring when it comes to dialysis. And sometimes you'll you'll go on the machine and, and everything is fine and you feel good. And then some days you get off the machine and you can't. You know, you just can't. You, know, you can't do anything. You, you, you all your energy is gone. You're tired. You're sleepy, and you just you know you just need some way to go down and, and, and lay down and rest. Has it? And last question. I know you'll have to go, but has it had a, a major impact? On your work schedule with the show, I mean, you are continuing, obviously, with the show. Well, um, as far as the show is concerned, we, we we put our heads together and we make sure that you know if, if if the conflict, if the if the schedules do conflict, we just make it happen because they know that I have to be on dialysis and I know I have an obligation to the show, so we just come together and we make it happen. Hmm. Well, um, it's a, it's a fascinating. The story, and I, I, I wish we had more time to go into it, but I want to make sure that everybody knows you can catch uh, Chris Chapman every Thursday night this spring at 9.30 p.m. and for tonight for the season finale of NBC's uh, hit sitcom, 30 Rock. And remember, it moves this fall to 8.30, so make a mental note of that now. And you can catch up on any episodes you've missed at Hulu.com. Uh, Chris, uh, can folks find you on Twitter? I, I, yeah, I saw a couple I'm, I'm, of... I'm, I'm on Twitter is grizand.com, spelled just like that, A-N-D, no period in a dot. And you can also find me on Grizz Chapman on Facebook. 
Great. I saw that, but I wanted to make sure that was actually you before we told people. Um, yeah. Listen, thank you uh, so much for joining us in Mr. Media today, and uh, mazel tov on your impending nuptials. <laughs> thank you so much. And, and everybody watch the season end of the 30 Rock tonight, 930. Catch it. All right. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. And, folks, for more interviews with your favorite stars of NBC's 30 Rock, uh, including one with uh, uh, Pete uh, Scott Adzit, who plays Pete, uh, you can surf over to our main website, www.mrmedia.com. Subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes, and you'll never miss a show. Just search Mr. Media Interviews from within iTunes and subscribe for free. You can also listen with a piece of string and a tin can in many locations. If you've got an idea for a guest, email me directly at bob at andelman.com. And you can reach me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Andelman or on Facebook by searching Mr. Media Interviews. Thanks so much for joining us today. Always appreciate when you give up a little piece of your day and spend it with us. Thanks for listening, everybody. Hey, now.